What if you could turn anyone in the world into your own personal consultant? I'm talking about having Alex Formosi as your personal marketing instructor or having Gary V by your side every time you see a garage sale. And while that might sound ridiculous, this is something that is totally possible with AI. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that as we create an AI agent that we train on all the YouTube material of whoever you want. And by doing so, we're able to create a miniature AI version of them that we can use to do whatever we want. And the best part is this AI system is pretty simple to create and we really aren't limited just to YouTube data or some sort of famous celebrity either. You could be cloning yourself. So let's get started so you can get this up and running. So as always, remember, I'm giving you this template for free. Just go down to the comments, head to the free school, sign up. You'll find this template there. Once you find the post that has this, it should be called like AI clone or something related to the YouTube title. Download it, come to N8N, create a new canvas, and then you just come to the top right and you're gonna do import from file and you'll have it set up like this. That way, for the rest of this video, you can follow along and I'll show you what you need to edit so you can make it your own. Now, big picture, what the heck is going on here? I kind of talked about you know YouTube data before and we're creating a clone, so how does this all work? Well, the way it's gonna work is right off the bat, you're gonna be doing a form submission. Form is very simple. You're just gonna input the YouTube channel URL and then the number of videos that you want it to scrape. For example, if I wanted to create my Alex Formosi AI agent, I would just go to the YouTube channel, I would copy the URL, come back here, paste it, and then it's the number of videos I want it to scrape. And this is gonna scrape the most popular videos. So if I do 10, it'll be the 10 most popular, 20, the 20 most popular, you kind of get the drift. Now, the reason why we don't just do all of them all at once is some people have a ton of videos and understand there is a cost to each video. It's not a lot, but this gives you some flexibility. Now, once you submit that, it's then gonna go here to Appify and it hits Appify twice. Essentially what it's doing is it's going to get the video URLs. It's then gonna send the URLs to this Appify scraper and that's gonna get the transcripts for each and every video. From there, we then analyze each and every transcript individually, pulling out the main points, what we think is important. We then aggregate it all and then we send it to the persona creation module. And this is where it's taking all of that, you know, YouTube analysis and saying, hey, like, who is this person? What are they about? What are their sort of like pillars? And it creates the persona, essentially. What it outputs is the system prompt for the AI agent that is going to act as your miniature version of whoever it is. You just did all this analysis on, right? In this case, it's Alex Hormozzi, right? So this is creating the system prompt for our Alex Hormozzi AI agent. From there, we take that output and we just dump it here into the AI agent. So this output on this guy becomes the system prompt for this guy. And now I can just talk with the AI agent and it's essentially like having Alex Hormozzi there by my side to answer my personal questions. So as an example, I'm just saying like, hi Alex, what should my strategy be when it comes to outreach for my AI agency? I'm stuck between ramping up cold outreach slash email campaigns and focusing more on social media. So here's the response it gives us, goes into an example from Gym Launch, gives us one, two, three, four kind of talking points. And then as you kind of scan it, you see there's an emphasis on things like volume, right? Which is something that Alex always preaches, right? You know, volume negates luck, that whole deal. Now, we did this inside of N8N, right? And I will show you later in this video how you can get out of the N8N space, right? The idea isn't to create this agent you have to be inside of here and use chat all the time. I'll show you how to set up inside of Telegram, but this is something you could easily put into like Slack or even give it its own web app. So that's the overview and the demo. And a question some of you probably have at this point is like, well, why didn't we just create a RAG agent with this, right? Like we're doing this transcript synthesis. What if we just took all the transcripts and we just shoved it into a RAG system or like graph RAG. Could we do that? That is something you could do. Frankly, I wanted to keep it simpler. And also we're not looking necessarily for an agent that's you know just gonna answer questions about YouTube videos, right? We're trying to create like this miniature personality that's trained on like the general like themes that we get from the videos, right? We're not looking for a Q&A bot where I'm like, hey, what did he talk about in this video? So I think there's a subtle difference there, not that RAG would necessarily be wrong, but I think for what our outcome is trying to be, this solves the problem. And again, it's very simple, which makes it a nice sort of like beginner agent for people. So let's roll through the modules. First one is the form submission, very simple. We're passing the YouTube channel URL and the number of videos to scrape, right? That's all we need because that's where the data is gonna come from. Next, we need to get the video URLs, right? Because we need to know what the video URLs are to eventually get the transcripts from them. And that's where Appify is coming in. So inside the module, what do you need to change? You need to change your API key. So this will be different from the template. It'll say like your API key here. You're just gonna insert it here. And then 
nothing else should need to be changed. If we look at the JSON payload, you'll see what are we passing? Max results, that's coming from our number of videos to scrape here on the left, and then our start URL, and that's just the channel URL. You'll see here we are also sorting by popular. And as I'll show you here in a second, you have the ability to pull things like shorts if you wanted to, but I think most people would prefer the long form. So this is something that is editable. And instead of Appify, this is the actor or the scraper that we're using. Like you said, we can get up to a thousand URLs for a dollar, pretty cheap. And these are the kind of things you can edit, right? The direct URLs, a number of videos, short streams, and also the filtering. So you could also change this so it only gets videos after a certain date. Feel free to come inside of Appify and play with this. You can put whatever settings you want and then come up to the right and do save and start. And it will actually run it for you. And you can be like, okay, is this an output I would actually like? Now, if you've never used Appify before, it's just a marketplace for web scrapers, right? You pay, if you do the free tier, they give you 35 bucks. The next tier is 39 bucks a month. I suggest having Appify. There's a tons of scrapers that are useful. And if you want to get your API key, you're going to go down to the left where it says settings. You're going to go to APIs and integrations, and you're going to find it right here. So make sure you copy that. And when you come back inside here, you paste that right here. It's still going to need to say bare, but it'll be bare space, your API key. So next we just aggregate all those URLs, right? Because we want to pass it as one item to the second actor, which is where we get the transcripts. Again, what do you need to change? The API key yet again. And if we take a look at the payload, what is happening here? We pass the URLs here just in one item, right? We're passing all 10 in this case at once, right? That's why we do the aggregate. We don't want it to do it separately every single time. I have a link over here on the left to both scrapers. So the transcript scraper, is this guy, $7 per 1,000 transcripts. And just like with the last one, feel free to play around here and kind of see what outputs you get if you ever wanted to change anything. So once we pull the transcripts, we then bring to this module where we analyze each and every transcript. And what we care about here is the system problem. Now this is pretty detailed. And what we're looking for is essentially like who this person is and what they are about, right? Teaching style, tone, values, all this stuff. It's a pretty detailed system prompt. Feel free to edit it however you wish if you don't like the output, but I think it does a pretty good job of getting what we care about out of each transcript. So this runs it for every single video. We then put all that analysis into this box with the aggregate module and we send it to the persona creation. And like you saw before, here is our system prompt right? What is the task? Combine all video analysis into a single coherent persona that represents this creator's knowledge, communication style, and personality. And just like with the last system prompt, this is something you can 100% play with if you don't like how it sort of sounds, right? If you feel like it indexes too hard and like the personality quirks or whatever, and you want something that's a little more robotic and just gives you the facts, you can go ahead and do that. My suggestion is you would just copy paste this whole thing, right? put it into your AI of choice. And if you have issues, just tell it what the issues were and just continue to iterate on it. And from there, we get our output, which is what you see on the right. Now it's a giant blob of text, looks ugly to you. The AI is able to look at this just fine. Now this is what that output looks like, just formatted better so we can see it, right? Persona, Alex Formosi, the role and the goal, right? Primary goals of pride, brutally honest, no excuse, actionable advice for entrepreneurs, core knowledge, philosophy, personal development and mindset, key frameworks, even um, scores these depending on how often it sees them in each video, right? If it sees something over and over again in every single video, it's going to put it at high confidence. So like the value equation, communication style and tone, it even picks up like recurring phrases that it sees over and over again, personality, response generation guidelines, right? All this stuff. It's pretty detailed, right? And this is what we are creating. This is what we really care about. Now, once you go through this section and you've created it, now you need to actively do something inside of your workflow. You need to copy this guy, right? Just click the um, little like document stacked on top of one another over here on the top right. You're going to go down here to your AI agent. You're going to open up the system message and you're just going to paste it in, right? This AI agent that we see here, this one that we demoed earlier, it now has the instructions of how to act as our miniature, you know, Alex Ramosi advisor or whoever it is you decided you want to create. It's really that easy. So before I show you how to hook this up to Telegram, let's talk really quickly about things you could change or add to kind of give it your own twist. Now, first of all, this AI agent is very simple, right? This is just a chat bot. We haven't added any tools, but you totally could do so. For example, we could add something like the perplexity tool. 
Now our Alex Hormozzi clone has the ability to actually go out online, research stuff for us, get like live up-to-date info about whatever it is we're talking about, right? Very easy way to sort of bolster what this agent can do. Just make sure once you add a tool like this perplexity that you go inside the system prompt and you add somewhere either at the top or bottom saying, hey, you now have access to the perplexity tool. Use this tool when X, Y, or Z. Lastly, understand that this idea of pulling data, synthesizing it into a system prompt about a person and what they think about and believe can be done for someone outside of YouTube or who isn't like a celebrity. Like you could do this for yourself, right? Imagine you are like, you know, you have a team underneath you that's constantly badgering you about questions or frequently asked things. You could totally create an AI agent of yourself trained on your documentation, even if it's not YouTube, this could be pulling the data from something like Google Drive or some sort of like, you know, um, best practices manifesto that you've written up, you know? So this sort of idea of having data, analyzing it, turning it into a persona system prompt and dumping it into an AI agent that we've created down here applies to a ton of different use cases, not just what we demoed today. And I actually created something like this a while ago. It was one of my earlier projects on my AI agency was there was a guy, he was a founder, and he essentially wanted a AI agent trained on all of his information that he could not only talk to, but it also like automatically responded to his emails, right? We actually hooked up this AI agent to his Gmail pipeline, so it worked on a trigger. And when he got emails that had to do with his business, this AI agent would respond, right? It was trained on his stuff, how he wrote, and it would just draft up a response. It wouldn't actually send it for him because he didn't want it to do that, but it had the drafts ready to go, so we could just look at it, make some changes, if any, and say, hey, go forth and, and send it off, right? That's a really useful use case that you might not have thought about, but takes a lot of the principles that we just demoed here and puts it into action in the real world. So let's hook this up to Telegram. So we're gonna search for Telegram, and then we're going to do a trigger, and we're gonna do on message down here on the right. Now we need to connect it to a credential, so we're gonna do create new credential. And if you've never done this before, it's pretty simple, but we can actually walk through it with the NADN documentation. So just click open docs. So NADN has pretty solid documentation across the board and it shows you how to do this step by step. So we're just gonna start a new chat with botfather, enter the new bot command, and then follow the instructions from there. So I have botfather pulled up right now inside of Telegram and I'm just gonna do slash new bot. And we're gonna call this clone bot bot. So it created the new bot, we have the access token right here. So we're just gonna copy that access token, come back into here, put that in here, make sure you name it. We're gonna hit save. So we want it to trigger on message, any of the stuff we need, nope. Now I'm gonna come back inside of here. We'll click on our new bot, we're gonna start it. I'm now gonna execute step inside of NADN, so it's listening for data. Oops, actually let's say hi, we started our bot, I said, hi, we're gonna come inside of here, hit execute step, there it is. There's all the information we need. I'm gonna pin that data. I'm now going to link that into there, delete this guy, we don't need it anymore. And we just need to make a couple changes, right? So first we need to change where the prompt is coming from. So now it's gonna come from the user. So it's gonna be json.message.text. And then we need to change the simple memory. We're then gonna go into simple memory, go to define below, and for the key, we're just gonna use the chat ID down here. Just drag that from the left. So chat ID, drag over there, and you're all set. All right, once we do that, then we need to click over here on the right, search for Telegram again, so it can actually respond to us. And we're going to do send a message. Where are you? Where are you, where are you? There, send a text message. Make sure we have the correct credential. We're going to click inside the AI agent, just hit execute step so we can see what it would give us, right? Because we need something to pin it. Now here on the output, we're gonna put it inside a text. On Telegram trigger, we need to pass the chat ID. We'll pass it right there. And now if I hit execute step, we can see it's working. Now it says the message was automatically sent with NADN. I don't want that, so append that. There we go. Now it's working without that annoying message. And just like that, we now have our Hormozy bot inside of Telegram, right? Right on my phone and on my computer, I can ask it whatever I want. Pretty easy.
So that's it for this video, guys. I thought this was a pretty interesting automation and there's a lot you can do using this general template outside of what we just demoed today. Now, as always, make sure you check out the Chase AI School, right? Tons of free resources there. The Chase AI Plus community is more if you're someone who's trying to make money in the space and is looking to do your own AI agency, right? Step-by-step -step guides of how to get that up and running and actually land some clients. So check it out if that sounds like something you're interested in. And as always, I'll see you around.